emergency. This is huge for pickleball adoption. Big pickleball news alert. MLA and PPA agree to merge. Two rival pickleball leagues backed by major corporations are merging. The PPA's brand new Vi Pickleball League will combine with the established Major League Pickleball, whose owners include NBA superstar LeBron James. In a recent press release, the PPA revealed that Mark Cuban would be the first team owner in the newly formed Vibe Pickleball League. Now the league said that Anheuser Busch is the first Fortune 500 company to buy an MLP team. The Professional Pickleball Association new Vibe Pickleball League and Major League Pickleball announced their intention to join on Wednesday. The financial details of the deal were not made public. As interest in the rapidly expanding sport of pickleball continues to rise, the Merge League will keep using the Major League Pickleball name and format. So how will this merging take place and what will be its consequences? Let's find out in today's video. Hello and welcome to Pro Pickleball Media, your number one spot for all pickleball content. Our channel is dedicated to the fastest growing sport in the US and we cover all fun and exciting things related to pickleball. So if you love pickleball and want to learn more about it, just take a second to subscribe and press the bell icon so you don't miss any of our recent videos. In today's video, we're going to talk about an insane news in the pickleball space, the MLA and PPA's vibe merging. Make sure to stick around to the end of this video where we will reveal the terms and conditions of this merge. Now let's get right into the video. The Professional Pickleball Association, PPA and Major League Pickleball have both released some monumental news in recent days. The two groups have reached an agreement to form a strategic partnership that will result in the integration of MLP and the PPA's vibe pickleball. Tom Dundon, owner of the PPA, and Steve Kuhn, owner of the MLP, are both billionaires from Texas. Previously, they were in direct competition with one another for the future of the sport's professional structure. However, they have decided to run the joint league using the brand name and format of the MLP. MLP vs. Vibe The Pickleball Players Association-backed Vibe Pickleball League has only just revealed its first team owner, billionaire investor Mark Cuban of the television show Shark Tank. The team-based approach that Vibe takes to professional matches was created to be a direct competitor to the one that MLP uses. After hearing that MLP owner Gary Vaternichuk has recently sent a challenge to Big Talking Cuban to a match, we laughed at the idea that something like that might ever take place. Now with regard to the MLP against Vibe Gap, we do not have a crystal clear picture of what it will look like by the time the 2023 season comes. The fact that there is a significantly more money at stake in professional pickleball, on the other hand, appears to be more certain. The bulk of Top Golf, Carvana, and the National Hockey League's Carolina Hurricanes are owned by PPA's Dundon. PPA has signed sponsorship agreements with companies such as Hertz and DraftKings. MLP's Kuhn is a hedge fund manager who has already assembled a strong roster of other affluent investors, some of whom are well-known athletes such as LeBron James, Kevin Durant, Tom Brady, and Drew Brees. The collaboration between these two billionaires and their respective organization is expected to result in an increase in the total prize pool for the tournament. The MLP League boosted the prize fund from $1 million to $2.4 million in conjunction with the rise in the number of participating clubs. It appears that 2023 will be an excellent year to compete professionally in pickleball if all of the available resources are pooled together to form a single pickleball league. Coming together as one team league allows us to build much bigger events, offer more prize money, enhance player development, pursue larger media and sponsorship deals, and more importantly, grow the game we all love, Conan Dunn said in a joint announcement. Coming together as one team league allows us to build more bigger events, offer more prize money, enhance player development, and enhance player growth. In January, Dundon's private equity investor, who also owns the National Hockey League's Carolina Hurricanes, purchased the Pickleball Players Association and Pickleball Central. Both PPA and MLP have previously functioned separately, with formats that differ from one another. While PPA was centered on an individual format, MLP offered co-ed teams. The Pickleball Players Association made the announcement a week ago that they will be forming the Vibe Pickleball League, with Mark Cuban serving as an inaugural team owner. According to Vibe, it would be team-orientated and open to both sexes, much like what the Major League Pickleball has been doing. Players of the caliber of Ben Johns, Tyson McGuffin, and Anna Lee Waters can be found competing for the PPA. It will carry on with its operations involving individual competition. The popularity of pickleball has skyrocketed in recent years, and now both established businesses and well-known celebrities want a piece of the action. MLP has been public announcements about dozens of high-profile investors in recent months. These investors include NBA superstars LeBron James and Kevin Durant, as well as NFL legends Tom Brady and Drew Brees. The league made the announcement on Tuesday that Anschweizer Bush has become the first Fortune 500 firm to purchase a Major League Baseball franchise. Both Mark Lazary, co-owner of the Milwaukee Bucks, and Gary Vernachuk, a entrepreneur, has made financial contributions to the Major League Pickleball organization. 
It was stated in the announcement that we are proud to announce that Major League Pickleball and the PPA Tours Vibe Pickleball League have agreed to a strategic merger to unify the sport of pickleball as a global co-ed team-based league featuring the greatest players, biggest events, and visionary owners. The purpose of this merger is to create a global pickleball league that will feature the greatest players, biggest events, and visionary owners. The Major League Pickleball brand name and format will be maintained throughout the duration of the league's existence. Pickleball is quickly becoming the most popular, fastest-growing participatory sport in the U.S. and soon the rest of the world. Both the MLP and the PPA have been instrumental in fostering the expansion by providing assistance to players of the highest caliber, promoting effective marketing, and developing spectacular live experiences. By forming a single-team league, we're able to host far larger competitions, increase the amount of prize money on offer, foster greater player growth, pursue large media and sponsorship deals, and more importantly, expand the scope of the game that we all like. Interview with the Sports Business Journal, Larcy said, I think we're going to be startled by where it is in five years from now. He was referring to the state of the investments in the sport in 2021. Many of the tennis courts of establishment like Lifetime Health Clubs are being converted into pickleball courts, and the club will start holding major league pickleball competitions. Other business people are putting their money into complexes worth multiple millions of dollars. According to the manufacturer of sporting goods, Selkirk, the number of people searching for the activity on Google has increased by more than 200% over the past five years. The league declared in their joint statement that was released on Wednesday that we are just getting started. This day represents a significant turning point in the development of pickleball. In a society that has starved for greater social interaction and reasons to rejoice, we are really ecstatic about the merger and what it means for both our wonderful sport and our community. Additionally, the press release noted, our league will launch with some of the most accomplished professional athletes in the world, such as LeBron James, Tom Brady, Kevin Durant, and Kim Clijsters, as well as a group of legendary executives from the worlds of business and athletics. Only the day before yesterday did we make the announcement that Asher Bush will be the newest owner of our squad. We're just getting started. This day represents a significant turning point in the development of pickleball. A society that is starved for more opportunities for social connection and reasons to rejoice. We're extremely ecstatic about this merger, what it means for both our wonderful sport and our wonderful community. So what are your thoughts about MLP's merge with PPA Vibe? Tell us in the comments. Also, don't forget to like this video and share with your fellow picklers. Also, if you love pickleball, make sure to watch this next video on our channel. Thanks for watching. Bye.